tectonic, <laughs> not popular dance in we Russia. Are we, we, hello people, we are doing the stream about the game. We were warming up by doing the dance, by hiding from the sun, and we welcome you to this video, a first installment of a devlog where we're going to talk about the game and we have uh, about learning factory game. <laughs> I just like them so much. Look, so so let me introduce people here in the chat. So yes. so so this is Georgi. He's dancing Hi. because he's a developer. We have Masha. She's <laughs> dancing because she's a teacher. And uh, this is Lara. And she's also I'm dancing. just dancing. I'm just dancing. And she's <laughs> I'm just dancing. here. I'm just dancing. Yeah. But <laughs> let's talk about the game and Who let's you? Game games for... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's a good point here. Like, why, why, talking, why, why do you start the stream from the hard questions? I mean, like, existential who in life. You? Who am I? Why do I exist? Why, why are you doing... not dancing? We are, do... we are doing the stream because we are to deliver a game and a curriculum by the <gasps> end of the summer. You pronounced it right. Oh, my God. By the end of the summer. Yes. So, Georgi, by the end of the summer, we are to deliver a game and a curriculum. That's the plan. That's the plan. <laughs> and what is the status of Learning Factor EDU right now? Well, we have started it only recently, so it's pretty early on. But uh, we are now discussing uh, concrete lesson plans because this is the most important part of the process, I think. We have and to Masha, take you're helping with that, right? Tremendous. Yeah, sure, sure, as a teacher, <laughs> cool. because I know how to use games in school yes. and why to use games in school. That's, you know, that's our kind of our philosophy, which we apply to all the games we're developing, because we're not educators, but still we're making educational games somehow. somehow. So we are trying to uh, oh. find as many, as many educators and talk to them, because they know what nice they plan. need. They, yeah, well, sounds very well thought through. <laughs> and then you found Masha, or right? Masha, did they found you? Uh, yeah, they found uh, me, mm -hmm. not only me, but uh, my community of teachers, which I represent, community of geeks from Russia. And we connected on social media, like, okay, let's maybe make a game that will burn out and be like fabulous in education. So that's how it started. <laughs> that's a love story. That's a love yeah. story. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> like a, a uh, Tinder yes. story of uh, Ma like game yes. developers, made in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah. you did play the game, right, Marshall? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, I, I thought you. you were asking me. <laughs> I did briefly. I also did. I also did. I broke everything. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice, and uh, like I made mean, so much. So like, uh, th that's funny because when I was playing, I, I broke everything, and Masha is like, "We will help you to make uh, classes out of it." I'm like, "She's like, amazing." <laughs> as a teacher, I was a computer science teacher. It's hard to imagine. I, I don't know. Everyone is asking, "What? What? You're a computer science teacher?" I was using games, and it's not popular usually in school to use games. Like, why not to follow the right curriculum and especially just in Russia. open? No, yeah, especially in Russia because no one is using games. But a game can uh, be a good motivation to learn some hard subjects. So uh, there is no other better thing that uh, can help you learn different subjects in one option. Like a game can uh, teach you how to uh, think a strategy, strategy thinking, strategy, strategy. Can you help me with pronouncing strategy? Strategy. Curriculum. All the fun also, words. <laughs> also with logic also with creative thinking so all the things can be uh, can be used in games so that's why I was using it uh, during all the time and I was trying to make a community of teachers who will also love to use games in Russia and finally I succeed a little bit <laughs> so now uh, when we are making together a game that we can use in education at school that uh, I can say that we are building together kind of games. So I am uh, like a maker of uh, educational part of the game. Very nice. And how the process is going? Is it like hard to it's do hard. that? Because it's I have hard, zero yeah. how to implement <laughs> yeah. classes yeah, it's hard, the game. Uh, because you need to think about curriculum. You need to think what can be uh, put in, put what can you put inside this game, and how can it work on uh, education and in school, and how also how to explain teachers why you can use this game. So this process is hard, but we are working with teachers. Yeah. 
<laughs> working for, with... uh, for developer, uh-huh. the question the same: Is it hard to make uh, the game with teachers, like educational game with teachers? <laughs> No, it's hard to make a game <laughs> in the first place because, well, you know, uh, it's it, these are not my words, but I love them very much, that the magic of video games is that you never know how things will go once you start because it's always, always something happening and always things go south and things go super weird and sometimes, not in the, not this time, of course, but sometimes you might end up designing a whole different game that you... Originally you may end up wanted. creating a game for middle school uh, students, so you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, nice adap- twist. adapting adapting it to middle school students seems like an easier of a task than you know coming up with the game in the first place and you know putting it out there uh, on Steam shelves. So, I think okay. we're already through the hardest part of the process. Uh, I I remember it was very fun when we had a talk, like, you know, in the beginning, how like uh, you, uh, Masha, and like your colleague Karina, you've been like, oh, yeah, let's do this, this and that crazy ideas. And like you with Alec, we were like, no, please don't. No, (laughs) it was such much of of a suffer how you're coping with each other. Coping with me? What? Not you, Alec. What? Oh, Alec. <laughs> Who is coping? Basha coping. Georgi coping. Georgi, like developers and teachers, how you're coping? Because like teachers, you have like so many ideas, and like you developers, are supposed to know how to implement them and like how to cope. Yeah, because with each we other. don't understand that it's hard to to put something in game. We're just making creative yes. ideas. Like, oh yeah, we can make a lot of characters, blah blah blah, map and uh, all other things. But no, it's not working <laughs> like that. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, it's like colliding worlds, and you know, you remember what it ended up with, what it ended up, how it ended up in The Witcher. So there uh, were also two worlds collided, and then there were monsters all over the place, and you know. This is the beauty of creation. Of and course. in this metaphor, monsters are the kids, right? Or, in this or... metaphor, monsters are whatever happens, because we've spent a <laughs> good amount of time trying to, you know, trying to sort of marry the concept uh, of what uh, the ladies at Geek Teachers had in mind to sort of combine it with what we have. But uh, I want to say in a very cautious manner that we are now sort of approaching a pivotal point in the development where we actually take uh, the lesson plans that uh, Geek Teachers have designed and we need to make it into a game. So we are now... This... uh, uh, might be one of the hardest part of uh, of the process because after that it's all it's all just you know uh, the repetition of the same basically but on different levels. So fingers crossed. I'm looking uh, on your Discord and I and I think I found the hardest part in the process and that's the cat naming contest. So the cat naming contest. Oh, yeah, it was, it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> We've had uh, lots of, actually, we have lots of uh, cats named after our players. They have, uh, they have come up with their own ideas. So it was, it was the easy part of the process because we. Are you, suggested... are you gonna name the cats like for Masha and Darina because they helped you to create the game, like yeah, the original version? <gasps> really? <laughs> Too cute. Wow. <laughs> we can we, we can name the cats after you. It's just. Like... <gasps> yes, please. Yes. <laughs> That would be amazing. So what kind of cat? And uh, people, I mean, down below in the comments, you can see what kind of... You you can write what kind of cat should be named after Lyra. So probably the... The what? The youngest cat? Do you have young cats? (laughs) They're all cats. Who can say? The the same age, I think. Yes. Yes, yes. yes. But uh, let me get... um, I mean, somebody should be boring. Yes. So, no, somebody should be boring in the stream. I mean, like, you're having too much fun, so let me be boring here. Okay. <laughs> hey, that's my job. <laughs> <laughs> fight! Okay, we have two boring dudes now. That's fine. That's we'll fine. have a, bore, a boring fight. Let's, let's, mm-hmm. let's figure out what, we're going, what has happened right now. We have figured out that we have two versions of the game. One version of the game is that you, players, play. Another version of the game that Mash is playing and working on uh, and, and telling team. like how to do another version of the game. Yeah, there's no actual game yet because we have some uh, alterations to make. To so working. now we're so now we're working on uh, level designer and scenario designer, which will help us create actual lessons. And so also, we're... As, as far as I know, till the end of the summer, there's supposed to be tell ten levels, right? 
yeah, but the hardest part is is designing the curriculum because you know in terms of game it's all already there. I mean it's already on Steam, so not what a big deal. What does it mean? A curriculum? Is it like a textbook? Is it a set of exercises? Like you you, you talk about ten levels, but like what does it mean in practice? Like ten save games? Like what's that? What do what do like what do you bring Masha and and Arina and other teachers? Uh, it's like uh, I can say it's like ten steps you need to make. Uh, so uh, that you can be uh, build a factory. Uh, I, I, I don't want to tell you all the things because I think it's a secret. You know, <laughs> you can see it Ooh, in the next podcast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can see it in the next episode of the podcast. But it's like uh, several steps which you are going through with the character, uh, and also you are communicating with cats. Yeah, like nice. Uh, Cats named by Masha and Irina, uh, and uh, you are studying oh. different uh, subjects. So you are studying how to think like logically, how to make a strategy of building factory. So that's I think that's all. Can I say? <laughs> Is it enough for you, <laughs> or you want to know more? <laughs> I wanted to add no. up something. So we are not uh, like physically communicating with cats yet, yeah. because uh, it's it's the goal of this. Uh, EDU version to create a device which will help understand cats. And uh, okay. before we do that, we will have to communicate with them indirectly by analyzing sales data, because in this game, cats, some sort of space cats, they're giant space cats. They come to Mars to buy themselves some awesome cat stuff. So you will or have Or maybe to... not if there's somebody playing like me who is blocking the cat supply. So Yeah, but they don't no mind. <laughs> So in the next streams, we're going to bring more teachers. We're going to talk more about the game. We're going to track the development of the EDU version. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is to be done by the end of the summer with the 10 classes. And also let us know how do, we, how do you want us to cover this whole development? Do we show more insights of the game? Like how does it look in the engine? Do we show you the sketches? Do we... Oh my god, Alec, you are crazy. What? I'm trying to engage the audience. What's wrong about that? <laughs> okay. Well, it sounds very boring for some reason how you're doing this. But that's okay. We are used that you're boring, <laughs> dude. No worries. <clears throat> so yes, that was a pilot episode. Thank you very much for watching us. We are fun, I hope, too. Goodbye, and uh, the final dance. We should make a final dance all together. Can we make a heart like all together now? Like a heart? No? Batusi. <laughs> if you enjoy our company, we you are, are still here talking. in Discord. But like, we should advertise the Discord community because that's where the fun is happening. And that's where Georgi streams. And that's where all this news comes out. And I mean, you don't listen to me, you just dance. That's fine. Yes. That's fine. That's fine. All good. All good. I, I, are you talking I, to us? I didn't know that. No, I'm talking to our audience, but that's fine. Okay, people, goodbye. I mean, goodbye. Goodbye, <laughs> everyone. Like, what is, like, Lera, can you teach us doing the Korean heart? Like, I... Like this one? Like this. Hot, hot. All um, the teachers in Russia know <laughs> this. All the teachers in Russia know what that. <laughs> why? 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 Well, hey, we're going to discuss that next time. Yeah, next time, of course.